Charger V8, SRT, Hellcat, Red Eye, Wide Body, Jailbreak, and I'm just gonna do a burnout. Oh my god, I'm gonna miss this car so much. Here you go. Holy crap, look at all that smoke. I love this thing so much. I don't even care what the zero to 60 time is. Literally could not care less. Horsepower and torque. 807 horsepower, 707 pound-feet of torque from a 6.2 liter supercharged V8. And so this morning it actually hit me that this is probably the last Hellcat we're ever gonna drive, a I, brand new one. I know, ever. I know, this sucks. Like there are more versions, but there's probably gonna be no more press cars we can drive. I've gotten this out of my system. Yeah. I'm like, I'm fine with it. I'm like, I've accepted it. It is kind of sad, but yo, this is the jailbreak. Jailbreak means for the last year, they're gonna let you do any option. Uh, they sort of said that on their website. They said, so if you're dreaming about owning a Stinger Yellow Challenger with brass monkey wheels, hammerhead gray seats, blue Brambos, and red badges, I'm not sure we should, but we'll build it for you. So what did we do? We went to build one. I wanted to see if I could put red stripes on this purple spec with the red interior. And the first thing is like, no, nah, you, you can't put red stripes on purple. <laughs> so they lied. And this was not spec'd out by us. I messaged Dodge and I was like, yo, can I build the last jailbreak as ugly as possible? Just like we spec'd out that Porsche Cayenne that we did. Yep. And they're like, no reply, nothing. Turns out this was built by another journalist who had a family member who worked at Dodge back in the day, because all the challengers are built up in Brampton. Yes. And this is a pretty cool spec. Okay, so they had a way better story than you just trying to build the world's ugliest cha charger. Yeah. Okay, there you go. But they didn't do the worst job on building the world's ugliest charger because- <laughs> You are correct. The interior, the red interior with the purple is very ugly. Yeah. And I appreciate that. I, I love it. It's such a perfect spec. Like we would have probably spec'd something very close I, to I this. I would have done yellow with the red stripes and red interior and the yellow brake calipers, which don't match the yellow paint. I probably would have done that like lime green with red stripes. That's the that's the way I meant by yellow Okay, paint. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. We so would have built the same ugly lime green cha cha charger. Yeah. But uh, okay, so let's get into this. This is a jailbreak, which is different than a last call. Last calls are kind of like pre-spec'd also last editions. And then they also announce these like Mopar special editions, which are also different. So there's like three different special editions yeah. of last year's of Chargers and Challengers going and, and on right now. it could be jailbreak, uh, Hellcat jailbreak, uh, Red Eye, yes. there's a lot of versions. This is the Red Eye, so a little bit more power. Exactly, So then, but the Jailbreak also gives us more power because that gives you 10 extra horsepower. <laughs> Yo, I can't feel any difference in power <laughs> it doesn't matter. from Hellcat up. But hey, that's a lot of talking. I think we should do some flooring. <laughs> I love this car. <laughs> Dude, I took this for a rip yesterday and it was like every turn skating and I'm like, I, I cannot own this in the city. Oh my God, no, uh, you gotta own this in the country yeah, or, or I, risk jail time or I, something. Dude, I felt so guilty because every time, I love this Every car time so you much. floor it, everybody looks. They're far away that looks and everyone's just like, oh, here, tire squealing, supercharger, and it sounds so perfect. And I'm just like, I am the worst person ever in this car. I don't, I don't get emotional or sad or anything, but like I'm kind of really sad that I might never drive this it, again. It sucks that we can't buy one. Well, I mean, we probably could buy one. We should buy one. This one's just, really expensive. Just so we could like drive it every year, like once in a while, just be like, oh, I wonder what a good car used to feel like. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And like, I actually wouldn't modify it probably for the first time ever, because this car is perfect. Like the exhaust sound, everything about it, supercharger, it already has a cold air intake. You already get all the wee wee sounds from the inside. Like everything about this is done so well. And even inside how basic it is. Like you get in this car, you plug in your car play, it works right away. And then like you just start going fast. And, like you got a remote start on the key fob so you can warm it up at home and do a burnout when you leave. Like shook my house. Yo, this car, I, I showed my kid, my two year old. I, sh I started the car for her and she's like, it's too loud. Oh. And I'm like, oh, we're gonna go. I put the car seat in here, which fit behind me. I would have been fine. Uh, and this, the seats are so cushy that it like pushed it all down. And she's like, no, I'm not going in that. Uh, She's like, no, I don't want the Hellcat. I won't go in the Mazda. Well, I got good news for you because I'm picking up my kid after this and he's going to love this. Yeah, he yeah, loves loud cars. I, I, I will let you know, but, but he's going to love it. <laughs> Fast, yeah.
Do you like the car? Yeah. Yeah. And then with the four door, having a family, I, I definitively choose if it's not a manual, I would 100% go Charger over Challenger. So when I was buying my E55 AMG wagon, I was looking at the only Charger Hellcat wide bodies I could find that were like the cheapest ones and there was nothing less than like $70,000. I'm like, I can't justify that no, no. for like a car that's gonna have like kid boogers everywhere. But then I ended up with a car on the same platform as this anyways with a supercharged V8. Okay, I think we should talk about the looks because we did some really nice yeah, yeah, static okay. shots and yes. I really love the body lines. I think the color looks great. I think from the rear three quarter it looks nice. From the front three quarter it looks nice. From front on it looks cool. I love the badge up there, but I don't like that it's all blacked out. And the wide body fender flip is really pop especially with the smoke the rear end looks really really good with the smoke like this just fits smoke we should probably listen to it from the outside from the outside <laughs> up in second and third. This is the best experience. <laughs> and it's so accessible to so many people that yeah. they drive them around in circles and crash them into people for fun. Exactly, and you can like finance this at like 30% for like 96 months, like no problem. <laughs> and if you want to buy one of these, go to tsp.truecart.com. Highly recommend buying a new one, buying a used one, whatever you want, whatever you can get your hands on, as long as it says Hellcat. Yeah, as long as it's got the picture of the Hellcat from the factory and not just a sticker someone put on a <laughs> wheel drive. But back to jailbreak. Do you know what really, 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 really sucked about this? What's that? All the options are like black wheels. Yeah. You can have any color wheel if you like black. It's like so boring. But what would be the Continental recommended tire for one of these? The Extreme Contact Sport 02, and I would love to go through multiple sets of rear tires of those. Yeah. <laughs> but I did see like a Brass Monkey or whatever. There was like a, a, a whatever, Copper Bronze Edition, but still dark. Dude, that jailbreak is pretty weak. Like if that's how weak jailbreak is, like what was the regular options for specking these out? I know, it's nowhere near like a Porsche configurator. Like don't even feel bad buying an any year Hellcat and just modifying it yourself. Yes, we're just criticizing the lack of options in jailbreak not the actual jailbreak yeah. because we love this the car. car is amazing it's yeah. just like you could have done a little more on thing if that was like your big last hurrah but i guess it's like i think the car is amazing okay let's We're not get mad to the, car. At the car no let's get to the car we still have a 2.7 liter supercharger from the demon we have one horsepower less than the demon we got that power chiller so that robs our air conditioning and sends it into the engine bay and even though they're all made just up the street of Brampton, we will probably never drive a Demon, which is the saddest part. So yeah. Dodge USA, if you would like to invite us to the States somewhere to drive a Demon, we will come. I promise I'll do the world's biggest burnout if you'll let me. I promise I will run the drag strip properly. Yeah. Uh, I just want to go on a prep, so please just invite us, Dodge USA. We tried. <laughs> We've been around We've for never like begged. seven years. We have so many subscribers, so many views. Please just invite us, Dodge Everybody USA. in the comments, leave a comment telling Dodge to invite us to the Demon launch. Please, Literal God, launch. Please. Back to this car. So we do have a launch control, and I don't care to use it, but what I did notice is that Dodge also has launch control and launch assist, according to Dodge's press release, which uses like wheel speed sensors and all this stuff to prevent doing burnouts. All this thing does is does burnouts, which is like, yeah. who cares? It's so perfect. You don't even need line lock to do burnouts, which is cool. Cause it's like every stupid feature that every new car company comes out with to like make the car cool. Like this car can just do with a ton of power and rear wheel drive. Right? Yes. Yeah. And you'll still just do it. And then we also have uh, our performance pages and all that stuff. Just like we've had in every other Dodge Charger, Hellcat, wide body, red eye, SRT, I'm not even going to say yeah. 392. I, I, I clicked it and it was, took so long to load. I'm like, I don't, I don't care. I'm just going to I'm going to turn everything off and just light up the tires. Exactly. Um, and then we got this nice shifter, which I just put into manual. And I'm going to send it into Cliche Corner. However, we do have a rule of over 700 horsepower. I'm going to sweep it. But this is probably, again, the last time we're going to drive this. So I'm going to go in dirty, Yuri. Dirty. Dirty. I'm going to break the rules for the last one. But I'm not going to go full sideways because I still value my life and Yuri's life. Okay. Uh, yeah, turn in is the same. Who cares? And I'm gonna light up the rear just a touch over there. Big old, and big old boat. God, uh, dude, I'm like 25% throttle because otherwise I'm just gonna like. And my last official send through Cliche Corner in a Hellcat, probably. Probably ever in your life. Ever in my uh, no new one. Maybe I'll drive a new one. Maybe I'll drive a used one. Maybe I'll buy a used one, but new one, that's for sure. Okay. 
I had to do it. <laughs> that, that's just like how I keep thinking about that GT2 RS from like five years ago. Yeah, special cars. Okay, let's get you and in, uh, into the driver's seat. Since this thing can't hook up, I'm just gonna. <laughs> Boner mobile. Yeah. <laughs> those cars yeah all right what a perfect car <laughs> you know when we drove the 392 uh last call uh-huh bro <laughs> i'll I'll tell you guys first thing i did after driving this car again I, I i texted him i'm like anybody who buys a 392 like they shouldn't even sell that car they shouldn't sell any charger or challenger that isn't this because this is so good <laughs> don't drive a 392 don't drive it don't buy it just only just buy any v8 i'm still gonna say that but, but like only if you, hell, like for if real you though really can get a hellcat yeah. spring for it uh, please. I, I could i could never buy anything that's charger challenger not hellcat i also could not never and this for some reason feels less body to me than the challenger i don't know why same here man like but, the, the suspension's adaptive we've got this thing in sport mode yes you can also put in track mode but it's a little, little touch stiff but yeah it's just it's just fine like i could daily this except for that like kid refused to jump in <laughs> there's a lot of trunk room i don't know like there's there's nothing like the cup holders are good the infotainment is old and perfect the, the visors way. we already they're gonna, know they're gonna super extend go full go. pass double extend like man you definitely want to get a set of tux mat go to tuxmat.com slash the straight pipes all right now 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 you want to see something whack okay uh <laughs> sure custom srt drive modes I'm putting it in 372. Okay, because that's kilowatts or whatever. You haven't changed this to the, horsepower. The, like the black pedal. Marquee. Like you can still hear a supercharger and stuff, but it's just like not as fast and it's like, yeah. it sucks. And there's a valet mode, but to go into <laughs> valet mode, you need to put in a pin. And I did not want to risk having to put in a pin, forget, and then the last yeah, day no. of driving a Hellcat is in valet mode. Like, no way, Jose. Back to uh, 601 KW or whatever this powertrain is in. <laughs> yeah, so good. good thing traction was on there, because yeah. this is a smooth row, and this thing we just wanted to let go. Man. Man! I'm gonna keep saying this is a good car. Yeah. Like, great car. Like. Maybe world's best car. But I do feel like I couldn't like drive this daily because I would get in too much trouble. Yeah. In the city, like when there's not an open road to just like bomb down, like like you're just gonna do too much pent up. I could hundred percent do this. Hundred percent. You I risk it. I'd country. risk it. I don't care. I'd risk it. You would not. I would. Remember, I messaged the dealership about buying that shakedown last call that they had. Yes. They replied back, "What is your offer?" This is Ontario <laughs> where you're supposed to be able to get stuff at MSRP, but they're not advertising yet. Yeah, yeah. I am like MSRP. Ghost. Ghost. Never so, heard. So yeah, you're gonna get markups for everything. Yeah, and I mean this one's also really expensive. Yeah, really expensive. I mean we might as well get to the prices. The same great car it always is. Yep. The specking, building it up. Build, build one on the website before they shut it down just for fun. But let's get to the price. They are actually stopping orders in August, I believe. Let's get to the price. Ninety-five thousand six nine five is the starting price. Canadian. And this one is one twenty-eight five four five. That's so much money, but it's an experience that, like, you like, even though it's a big dumb stupid American car you can't get this experience from like anything else from the factory no like the closest thing next to this would be a Cadillac CT5V Blackwing which you can also get with a manual but it's so much less stupid and more yes, composed yes exactly which are false <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> Don't stop. Just don't Dude, stop. That was the last. That was that was like my last full rip. Probably. All right, guys. Man. Man. I'm sad, man. This Yo, is insane. Yeah, we we have no emotions, but like, yeah, like it's gone. This is it. This is my last time. If you have a chance to drive on, drive on. That's crazy. I can't believe it. All right, sad piano music plays out. <laughs>